Let's teach you how to import a Microsoft Access database into SQL Server. Uh, some companies will, will already have their databases created with data in it, and this allows you to upscale that database into SQL Server Management Studio. Go ahead and go out to the website www.shanlaman.com slash baseball dash archive slash statistics slash and this brings up a list of all the Laman baseball databases. I want you to click on the 2015 Microsoft Access version. When you do that it will download the Microsoft Access database in a zip file and we will go ahead and open up that zip file and there's the Access database. I want to copy that database and then I'm just going to go ahead and place it in my uh, downloads folder. And I already have one there, so I will just replace it, but you probably won't have one. So there it is. It's the LOM in 2015 Microsoft Access Database. And let's go ahead and learn how to import that into SQL Server Management Studio. So the first thing I'm going to do is I want to go ahead and start SQL Server Management Studio. When you do that, make sure you run that as an administrator. So I'm going to open my program and that was Windows telling me that I'm opening it. I'm starting that as an administrator and then I'm going to go ahead and connect to my SQL Express database that you've set up in previous videos. And then let's go to databases and let's right mouse click on database and let's create a brand new database and let's call this practice baseball practice baseball no spaces no underscore we'll just keep them together and use uh, uppercase for the first word uh, actually the first letter of each word camel case once you type in Practice Baseball, click OK. And we now have the Practice, data, uh, sorry, Practice Baseball database. Let's right mouse click on Practice Baseball and choose Tasks. Now this is where uh, using real versions or full versions of SQL Server, you can do backups, restores, and a whole bunch of different tasks. What we want to do under Task is go down to an area called Import Data. So under tasks, you look and it says import data, click on import data, and now it's going to bring up what we call Microsoft Wizards to help you uh, get your job done. So let's go ahead and click next. It says, what is your data source? Well, our data source is a Microsoft Access database. So we click on the down arrow and we look through the list. These are all the valid data sources we have. We can bring Oracle databases in different types of anything that we have database, even uh, Excel, we can bring that database or that file in and create database and tables out of it. We're going to choose Microsoft Access and now we need to go grab that file. So click on Browse, go to your Downloads folder and you should find the LAMIN 2015 file. Click Open. What I like to do is I always like to make sure that it, I'm going to be able to talk with it. So I click Advance. And I choose Test Connection. Looks like we're going to be able to talk OK. So I'll click OK and OK and I'm back to this window where we had to choose the database. Click Next. And now it says where do you want to create this new database at? And we want to go ahead and create that into SQL Server. So click on the down arrow and scroll down and you should have something that says SQL Server Native Client, whether it's 11.0, 12.0, look for that one. Mine says 11.0. I'll choose that. Notice it says what name do you want to restore it as over here. We're going to go ahead and leave Practice Baseball because that's the one that we had. But it does allow you to create a brand new database if you needed to do that. We just, we just did that step earlier. Click Next. Now we want to copy the data from the Microsoft Access Tables or Views and bring that into our new SQL Server database. Or we could go write SQL statements to do it, but they're already there. Let's just let Microsoft do its job. Click Next. What do you want to bring in?
Click right here and it selects everything. These are all the tables. Click next and we want to go ahead and run this immediately rather than scheduling it for later. Click next. It gives you a description of what's going to happen and now click finish. And then it just starts grabbing the data from the Microsoft Access database and creating new tables in SQL Server and copying the data also from those access tables into your new SQL Server. What I like to do is make sure I review these looking for green check marks. These are just information topics telling you what they did. And I don't see any red marks, which is good. You could even click on reports and view some reports to make sure everything looks good. But we feel confident looking at the green check marks and information. So click close. Let's come back over to here. Open up practice uh, baseball. Open up your tables. And there's all of our tables. Let's go ahead and right mouse click on master and choose select top 1000. Let's see if we have data there. It shows us that we do have data. So everything looks good. So that's how you take data from other databases already created and import them into SQL Server databases. And it's a nice way to work with data that you already have without having to start all over.